So what caught my eye in the AMD release is that this is not just for traditional supercomputing for tech. This energy, medicine, health, national security, this to me sounds like a, a government initiative to stay ahead of everybody else in the world in all of these verticals, not just traditional data center compute. Can you tell us how, uh, if I were, say, Thermo Fisher, or if I were Eli Lilly, I would be able to get into this and say, I want some of that compute power? You're absolutely right, Jim. This is actually a non-traditional uh, partnership between uh, the government and industry. What we thought to do was, number one, we want to get as much compute as possible, as quickly as possible to the national labs. And they're going to do all kinds of research in medicine and energy and national security, which is uh, wonderful. But we also said, you know, there are industries that would, uh, private industries that would like access to some of this compute as well. So the Eli Lilly's of the world, the Thermo Fishers, all of these folks would also be able to participate uh, as we bring up these clusters. And it is a very unique partnership. Um, I would say, um, you know, Secretary Wright said it best, this is the first time that he's announcing something where, you know, the very first time I met Secretary Wright, he said, hey, bring me ideas, Lisa. Bring me ideas that get us more AI in the government faster. And I have to say, um, he was very open. We love the partnership with Oak Ridge National Labs. Our engineers and scientists are, are really, really excited about contributing um, at the national scale for our, our U.S. AI efforts.